Welcome to the Monday Highlights presented by the Hound's Tales podcast. We'll be bringing you the results from the previous weekends, coming hunts, and news from the field trial world and deer dog woods. Drop the gate. Let's get it, guys. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Monday Highlights. This is for the weekend of November 30th through December 2nd of 2023. It's been a few weeks since we've been able to do one. Uh, hasn't been a whole lot going on in the field trial world, you know, late in the season. So, But uh, we had some couple big ones this weekend. Uh, hunting season has started around here for us, so we are rocking and rolling with that. Uh, first weekend, it looked like, uh, looked like it was dry for the first weekend. Had to go back into archives a little bit. Uh, it was good and dry for the first weekend, but uh, we were able to – <clears throat> had pretty decent run, and I think we actually had three bucks on the ground before uh, lunch. Uh, I was able to get the first one of the season for our club, which is, uh, I think, that's the first time I've ever done it, and got to do it in front of one of my own and uh, uh, Rooster's dogs. Uh, you know, we'll call CB handles whenever uh, whenever we talk dog hunting. So, but uh, as far as the rest of the day goes, it was it was pretty good running um, for the morning at least, and then after the morning, it kind of died off a little bit, but. That dry weather will do it to you and kind of, kind of make you make a fool out of you real quick. And uh, the dogs will really kind of struggle sometimes. But uh, got some rain later in that week and seemed like it seemed to help a lot going into Thanksgiving weekend. I think we ended up, I think our club we're sitting somewhere around the uh, 13, 14 bucks on the ground already. Uh, kind of had some missed opportunities on doe day. We ended up killing I think three bucks on the first doe day and I think two on the second. Uh, barely ran any of those, but I did think, I do think, uh, this week, this past weekend on the second doe day, I think we were able to knock, uh, two does down if I'm not mistaken. So it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good season so far. My dogs are performing like I, I, I could, like, I really hope they would. They're, they're doing a lot better than I expected. Um, I hadn't had a whole lot of time to put them in the, out in the open and get them trained up like I wanted to. And, uh, everybody knows that six weeks between the beginning of uh, uh, bow season here in Virginia and the first week of shotgun season, it really does kind of kind of gets them back out of shape. If you don't put them in the pen, I got some that are strictly deer dogs, and they don't they don't visit the pen. Uh, I have my own thoughts about that. I know some people argue up and down, and everybody's got their own opinions. That's what the that's what's so beautiful about this world is everybody's got their own opinions. If people just learn to respect each everybody's opinions and I think we all get along a whole lot better, but, uh, but yeah, I keep my deer dogs out of the, out of the pen. So they've been up for about six weeks, uh, just trying to keep them, uh, keep them entertained and make sure they don't try to pull an escape artist is always a trick. But anyway, enough of me rambling on about hunting season. I hope everybody had a good first couple weeks of hunting season and, uh, continue to have a good, uh, rest of the season. So let's get into the results from this weekend. There was two, uh, three days this weekend. We'll start off with the uh, CNM three day at CNM Fox Preserve. Did not get the bench show results. I did see the picture of them, but I didn't see any kennel name attached or anything like that. So it wasn't a whole lot I could really offer you on that. Good looking hounds though from the pictures. If you want to look at them, they're on CNM's Facebook page. Uh, just look up CNM Fox Preserve, and they're right there so you can look at them uh we'll start with the combination and that dog is out of champions bnb's chrome and champion top gun tempo the dog's name is top gun template out of top gun kennels he was sixth place gtp with a score of 1088 points and your field champion from the cnm three day that dog was going to be out of broadway's jp and broadway's hershey Maple Road Pilot J out of Maple Road and Hunter's Pride Kennels. That dog was also the classiest hound and had 2,109 points led all three days and beat the field by almost 800 GTP points. So there's always the phrase, when it's your weekend, it's your weekend. I believe it was that dog's weekend. <laughs> it looks like he uh, he kind of went in there and uh, showed no mercy and, and, and put, a, put, a, put a work on the field. So congratulations on making the field champion and congratulations to everybody that placed down there. 
And then on to the big one, the American Invitational at Tar River this past weekend. And we'll start with the bench show. The best opposite sex was out of Break White and Crown Royal Kennels. And the best in show was from Opie Kennels. So congratulations to y'all on y'all's bench show. Uh, successful bench show. Uh, moving on to the field, we'll go with the combination winner to start. That dog is out of Crisco's Charlie and champion MK's Taylor. Dog's name is Champion Crisco's Prick out of uh, from Rodney Crisco. Uh, he was also voted the classiest hound. He was first speed with fifteen hundred and sixty points, first endurance with three hundred ninety points, and second HDA. And your field champion for the twenty twenty three American Invitational will be out of Wolf River Whalen and Bold Run Two Tones. The dog's name is Bold Run Major from Bold Run Kennels. He was first place hunting with 20 points, sixth place speed with 1,400 points, and fifth place endurance with 355 points. So congratulations to y'all. Congratulations on the new field champion. <clears throat> and that's a pretty good little wrap-up of the 2023 season. I think we have maybe two more hunts uh, this year. Uh, so we'll get into the upcoming hunts. We'll start off with the Winter Classic 2 Day. That will be January 18th to 20th at Triple B Fox Pen in Wallace, North Carolina. Uh, the next up on the list, I had the 2023 Specialty Feeds World Cup. And that will be December 27th to the 30th at Triple B Fox Pen. Uh, then we have the 2024 Hunters Horn American Derby Classic. It will be January 27th to 29th. That is a three-day derby at J&J &J Fox Pen in Pekin, Mississippi. Then we have the South Carolina Piedmont 3-Day, and that will be January 4th through the uh, 6th, 2024. Uh, and that will be at Big Rocks Fox Preserve, and it will be also be the first hunt held under the new Nationals GP, GTP rules, just for anybody interested in that. Next up, we have the Tally Ho Masters 2-Day Derby. And that will be the not next week, not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend. It will be December fifteenth through the sixteenth at Tally Ho Fox Pen and Mount Krogan, South Carolina. I hope I said that name right. And then uh, next up that I've seen posted is the Southeastern FHA. And that will be March eighth through the tenth, twenty twenty four, at Pools Fox Preserve in Emporia, Virginia. I should be down there helping judge that one. So. Y'all be sure to come check us out if you're going to be down there. I'll try to try to have a banner up and uh, maybe do a little intermingling uh, after the hunt's over. So, but anyway, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Monday Highlights. I appreciate y'all listening. I do. I mean, I, I hope y'all listen this far into it. But I got some cool stuff coming, guys. Um, 2024 is going to be big. Uh, I just obtained my LLC for the Hounds Tales organization. So we're able to do, do a little bit more. I, I can't release anything quite yet. Um, nothing set in stone, but um, how do I say this? Uh, we're going to find some fast dogs in Virginia. We're going to see who's got the baddest dog in Virginia. And uh, more details to come. I'm trying to get all the details ironed out before I release everything. So um, just know that I'm working for y'all. I'm trying to trying to put on something pretty cool here and I uh, hope most of y'all enjoy it. And uh, as far as the uh, Houndstail stuff goes itself, as you can see now, I'm recording. I'm going to try to start recording the podcast. Um, and something else I'm going to start doing is uh, working with YouTube, working on YouTube videos and uh, trying to work out a partnership with another company. Um, I can't necessarily say that that's set in stone and all coming together yet, but uh it's possible and i'm hoping that uh we can really provide some cool stuff for for y'all in the future so y'all be sure to keep a good lookout on all that and uh i can't thank y'all enough for y'all support man i i couldn't do none of this without it uh the oh the the numbers are overwhelming and i just i really cannot thank y'all enough y'all are awesome and i appreciate all the support so with that being said we'll see y'all in a couple weeks i'm not gonna do any more monday highlights until after probably if I'm thinking right, oh, we might do some around Christmas weekend or maybe the weekend. Maybe we'll wait till the new year's over 
and uh, and then we'll get the World Cup and and the Tally Ho Masters two day in there and uh, get a get a get a fresh start coming season. So y'all just keep a lookout. Should be maybe one or two more blogs for the rest of the year, and then we'll get a couple more episodes uh, of the full season of the full episode. Excuse me, coming for y'all. So and uh, like always, guys, y'all take care and happy hunting.